Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video here today upon my channel guys. So then my friends, welcome back to Realm Royale Reforged. And today I'm going to be giving you an early look at the new uh, engineer class that's been added, well, returning I should say, back to Realm Royale. Obviously if you're an OG like myself who's been playing Realm Royale for a very long time, you'll know that back in the alpha builds of Realm Royale, back in the early days, um, we, we did have the engineer class and now that within the new update that's coming to the game there the, will be seeing the return of this particular class and obviously it's going to be bringing in the mastery class skin for it as well so you'll have 100 T's to go through to unlock the mastery skin and um, we've got some new loads of new content coming we've got new skins for this class as well which I will be making videos on as well guys and honestly I'm excited about this new update it's got everything that I need um, especially as like a content creator and as a big fan of the game new skins new things to like use in game new mount skins a battle pass everything man the only thing that i really want to see now is either new like pois on the map like new points of interest or a new map if we can get a new map that'd be amazing obviously we might get one in the future who knows but for now I'm just happy that we're going to be having this new content. You know what I mean? I'm so happy that Battle Passes are coming back. And obviously, if you missed my previous video, you'll be able to see everything in that video that's going to be in the new Battle Pass. So make sure, guys, if you haven't already, you do check that out, okay? Because honestly, there's some really good stuff in that Battle Pass. Brand new skins, chicken skins. Obviously, with the Engineer class as well, it brings in some new weapons like the Shock Rifle and stuff. So it's going to be awesome, man. It's going to be absolutely awesome. And... I'm just excited for it. Do you like my little dance move, man? I've got the Shimon, the good old uh, Michael Jackson dancey mode. The fog sets in. Let's see if we can get a, see if we can get a W with the um, engineer class. And obviously, this is one of the new skydive effects that we've got as well within the update. For, and I'm gonna, it's called the, um, the pixelated. We're gonna see. I'm gonna try and show off as much new stuff as possible. So put no like new emotes on and everything. So and with the engineer class as well, you get this really cool um, movement ability as well, which I'm gonna show you in just a moment, where you can just send you flying into the air as well. Because as you can see on the back of the engineer, you've got these like rockets, as little boosters. So it basically, it's got like a jetpack. So it'll just fly up in the air. And obviously, with these rocket dash as well, you can combinate it. So it's like you can go up and then go across. I'll show you in just a moment. I just need to get myself a weapon ASAP. So as you can see, that's what happens when you go up. But if you get the rocket dash, you can go forward. So use that sort of like movement mechanics wisely, and you're gonna be able to like move around and get to like flank enemies with it and stuff. That's how I'm gonna like use that to my sort of playstyle. Easy boys. Right. Just making sure the audio levels are not good as well. So I mean, it's just so good, man. And obviously when this update does go live on all platforms, what I will be doing as well, guys, I'm going to continue my grind as well. Uh, trying to get to level 100 on each of the glasses as well, so I can get like some mastery skin gameplay on the go on the channel. But there's just so much content coming, man. I'm just so, so hyped for it. And this is the one thing that I've always wanted with Realm. Especially like with the early days when we had the battle passes every other season. That Well, every season that was amazing back then. But I'm happy now that we've got some fresh content coming. And you know your boy loves the skins, so... So this is the new new tube, guys. The new grenade launcher. Kind of works similar to the plasma launcher. Shock rifle as well. This is one of the new weapons as well. So I'm going to just go and use the new content as well to showcase it and everything. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on it down below in the comment section. Alright. Let's see if we can get a W with these weapons. See, I can see that if I use my jump move mechanic, I'll be able to make some really interesting plays with the new two. Yeah, look at this mount skin, man. 
Looks so good. Hmm. This is uh, the reward you get at level 50 on the new battle pass as well, in case you guys were wondering. Because you get this, and I think you get another mount skin. Yeah, you do. You get the uh, shark mount skins, where you can literally just ride around on a big, gigantic shark. And it's just amazing, man. But this is the sort of creativity I love when it comes to games like this. And I really want to see the developers take this even further. Like, bring in some really, really out-of-this-world, like, cosmetic skins. You know what I mean? Like, magic carpets, broomsticks. I don't know. Um, have a genie, for example. Like, you jump on a lamp and then a genie's like, you just hold on the back of a genie or something. And you just, like, fly around the map or something. Just something really unique and out-of-this-world. And honestly... If they do that sort of thing and keep this sort of momentum going with the sort of like skin designs they've got, I'm down for it, boys. You know what I mean? I'm absolutely down for it because I think it's amazing. And I feel like with this new update as well, it's going to bring a lot of players back to this game as well because obviously there's a lot of players who have dipped off over the, over the years and stuff because obviously they weren't receiving the content that they originally used to have. Like me personally, I feel like the early days of Realm were the best days because obviously... We had battle pass content, we had new things happening, we have changes to the map, we've had, you know, I mean, we've had a lot of great stuff over the years for this game. And obviously they went for that dry stage where not much was happening, and I feel like a lot of people dipped off then. But now with this new update, I can see a lot of people coming back, and I feel like this sort of update is what the game really needed. You know what I mean? Especially for, like, content creators and big fans of the game like myself. And I just hope that they keep... Keep, out, keep on top of this now and we keep bringing new stuff in and keep bringing this new fresh feel for the game because now I feel like I'm, I feel like I've got like a great batch of content like I've got so many ideas for videos now because I've got loads of skins to co record got a battle pass to grind for when obviously the update goes live and everything else like there's always new things now I feel like the one thing that they could introduce especially like maybe in a future update as well is bring in more challenges so obviously you've got your daily challenges but maybe they can have like seasonal challenges um, they can have battle pass challenges uh, weekly challenges and they can give you like really cool rewards maybe like unique skins cosmetics um, they can have like uh, maybe emotes and sprays and stuff you can earn maybe a big sum of like crowns or something for like a re re weekly reward for completing all of your challenges and stuff like that. I feel like it'd be pretty cool. And I feel like one thing that would be pretty cool as well is if they have like a mix and match thing for the game where you can mix previous skins within a class and put them together. So let's just say, for example, I don't know, uh, we've got the. Let's just say the Assassin's class because I've got. I mean, there's quite a lot of skins for that class. So maybe I could take the body of the Shinobi skin and take. Um, the toxic skin, for example, I can take the head on that, mix it with the shinobi body skin, and maybe mix it with. I'm just trying to think of a skin off the top of my head. Um, just trying to think of one that I think will be appropriate for it. Um, the default skin, let's just say the OG skin, for example, um, and mix them all together to make a unique skin. You know what I mean? I feel like they could add that in. Maybe bring some form of character customization in. And then I think then they should could look into bringing maybe new modes. And the one thing I think will be really interesting for this game, not just modes like 50 versus 50, but maybe a first person mode as like a limited time mode. So you play Realm from a first person perspective. I think that would be interesting to try. I don't know how the developers would like do that, but it probably would take a lot of development. But I think it would be interesting to see. But let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. But I'm digging this uh, shock rifle in FM, man. I think it's really cool. I like it. I want to see what the um, legendary versions of them are going to look like within game. But obviously, if we manage to get that far, then I'll show you guys. If not, then I can always show you in a future video. Ooh, that's the rocket dash. So I'm going to equip that. And I'm going to show you how this works alongside your normal jump. So you can go down, then go up, you know what I mean? Not or you can go yet. up and then cross. 
So imagine like you could like jump high in the air and say you just missed the ledge, you could just rocket dash forward to get on top of that ledge. You know what I mean? So I feel like it's it's gonna be awesome, man. I'm, I can see some really good plays that are gonna be used with this particular class. And I'm loving the fact that they're introducing some new weapons. I know that obviously they're tied into the engineer class, but it's some yeah. new content, some new weapons to have a feel for. And I like that. There is other like classes as well that we originally cut as well from the past. And if you want guys, maybe in the future I can make a video of loads of cut content that was cut from Realm Real and go into depth about it. If it's something you want to see, let me know down below in the comment section because these have like a priest class as well. And there was other ones as well. So maybe, just maybe in the future they can bring them to the game. Who knows? See the license plate on the hover bike? Realm Royale forever. I love that. Yeah. Right, we need to try and find some more enemies. See, I'm not trying to go for a high kill game or nothing. This is just purely just about showing hmm. what the um, engineer class is like within game. In case, obviously, you are new to the game or you never experienced what the engineer class was like back in the day. Because obviously in the past, it was a, uh, you know I mean a lot. It was a lot of people's favorite, and then they obviously they removed it from the game and they went with the original classes that we see now, which is obviously the warrior, the, the hunter, the mage, and the assassin. They kind of like integrated it all into just them four classes, and just like separated out all the stuff that was tied in with this class. Man, this launch is beast, man. I'm loving it. Death from above, boys. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So, I mean, this thing's lethal. You can spam it as well. Nice. Oh, enemy, enemy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, drop down, drop down. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Nice. Let's try and get rid of this uh, goblin. So it gives me any good loot. The one thing that they do need to do as well, and I'm, I'm hoping that you have done this, because obviously I know it's been on their little radar lately, especially for all you people who have been playing on the PlayStation, and on the Nintendo Switch especially, is I'm hoping that they're fixing all the crash errors as well, because I know a lot of you guys have been seeing on social media, especially on Twitter, that a lot of you have been having like crash errors and all sorts, so fingers crossed that they fixed it within this update as well, because obviously I haven't seen no official patch notes yet, but I know once the update comes out, they're going to release the patch notes. But fingers crossed they fixed all the uh, the problems that Switch players have been having and everything. Because it's it's a bummer when you really want to play the game, but it just keeps crashing on you. And especially if, like, for example, with my partner, she plays the game on the Nintendo Switch. And most of the time when she's playing, it crashes mid-game. It crashes at, towards the end of the game. And it's I can see the frustration. See, with me on play, I, when I play this on my PlayStation 4, I see it is that... I get an odd crash here and there, but not as much as I've seen with with my partner with the Switch. And um, when I play it on PC, it's very, very, very rarely I'll ever get a crash. Um, I only mainly play it on the PC, mainly for the PTS servers, and because obviously at the time when you guys saw the video in the past, when I made a video on the Toxic Assassin skin, because I was just like, well, if this skin's only on Xbox and PC, I want that skin. So. It was the only way at the time to get the skin, so that's why I kind of got the PlayStation account and the PC version. I've still got RAM on my Xbox as well, I just didn't really play on my Xbox. Um, but that's just, just how it is, boys. But they do need to bring that skin across all platforms, because with me being a completionist, I want to have every single skin. And if I can't, it's going to irritate me. So, it's just one of them. And plus, the one thing I want them to do as well, especially because the fact that they've kept the like old bundles and stuff on the store... 
uh, for quite some time. I want them to bring back the early bundle packs as well, like the alpha build bundle pack and stuff. For people who didn't get the chance to get them, like me, I've already got it in my account, but it's more of like for you people out there who didn't get the chance to get it, if, say, for example, you were new to the game or something. So I feel like they need to bring them all back, even if it's just for limited time. But then the big question I've got for you all as well, what do you want to see coming to the game next? Do you have any ideas or suggestions on what you would like to see coming to Realm Royale next in future updates? Now, I mean, this is the start of a new beginning now for Realm, bringing back battle passes, the engineer class and stuff. What do you want to see next? Ooh, enemy, enemy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Careful, 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 careful. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Nice. Thing is just a godly combo. Love it, absolutely love it. Oh, 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 I'm being shot at. Again, 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 again. I need to toy around with this guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess around. You ready? Yeah, man. Give us, give him a little bit of a chance. Come on, bro. I'm giving you a chance here. At least you can do is try and kill me. If you're not going to take it, I'm going to kill you. Come on. Alright. You're not taking the chance. Come on. Hey. Didn't take his chance. You, know I mean? you have every opportunity then to try and kill me. There we go. Right, there's literally just a few more enemies left on the map now, so the least we can do now is just try and wrap this game up. Armoring up. I still can try and get on top of the bones. Are there any enemies around here first, though, before I attempt to go for the bones? Do 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 do. Ah, I don't think he can. I think they might have patched it. They might have. Because I know some areas that they've, um, in previous updates, they've patched and stopped players from getting on top of. Because I remember in the past that I've used it myself. You know what I mean? I can be guilty for it where I've got to a high vantage point where players who don't have height and movement abilities where they allow them to get really high on the map. For example, if you weren't using the Sora ability, you couldn't get on top of. Um, I've sat up there with snipers and stuff and I've just gunned people down and knowing that I'm covered, you know what I mean? No one can get me. Um, but I w I'm not surprised if the developers have patched them sort of things now to prevent players from doing that. Because we've all done it. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll put my hands up and admit to it. I've done it as well. Especially when I, just wanna, when I want like a cheeky easy win. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Finish him up. Let's do this. Right, one more play. Come on. Let's wrap this game up. See, this would be really cool if you had, like, a sniper rifle. And then you just, like, went straight up into the air. And then you rocket dashed, span around, and shot someone with a sniper. Imagine, imagine getting, like, the end winning kill with that. That would have been amazing if you could do that. Like, make that into a play. There we go, checking him. Shall we toy around with him? Come on, bro. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Come back. Come back. Come on, give me a chance. Oh, you can't rocket at him and like make him take damage. That sucks, man. 
Not yet. Oh, we can still get up there, though. Come on. Fight me! Uh, taking damage, taking damage, taking damage. I wasn't paying attention Armor to the circle, to be fair. Come on. Aw, oh, come on. Come on to the circle, come to the circle. Bro, this way. Ah, oh, never mind. I was going to try to goad him into the circle and just take him down again, but never mind. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments section. What do you think of the new update coming to the game? And with that being said, I'll catch you again next time. Thanks for watching.